Hello guys, I am Aish Patel, your tech buddy, and today I am going to show you how you can revert back to Android 6.0 on your Moto X 2014. Yeah, so I am on a custom ROM that is Resurrection Remix. It is based on Android 7.1.1. So I just want to go back to my stock Android 6.0, and as many of you people know, that it is very tricky or it may seem very risky while you're using the command prompt to revert back. So I'm going to show you how to do it safely. So for that, you will have to reboot into the bootloader or the fast boot, either from here or uh, using the button combinations, that is the power and the volume down button after you switch off the phone. Now moving to the PC part, uh, there is a zip file whose link is given in the description. Just extract it after downloading it and you will find three files inside it. So first of all, install this Motorola mobile device drivers. This is very important so that your uh, device is detected. Then you will have to install minimal ADB and fastboot and uh, you will have to extract this file, the 6.0 system image file. And do note that this video is for the Moto X T1092. So just extract it. And after you extract the zip folder, you will find these files. Just cut everything or copy everything and navigate to the folder where uh, you have your minimal ADB and fast boot installed. Basically, it is in program files. So navigate there and paste everything inside it. As you can see, I have already pasted it, so I won't paste it again. So just paste everything here after you have extracted the zip file that is the 6.0 system image zip file. So now let's proceed to the flashing part. First of all, your phone is on fast boot mode. So plug it into the PC using the data cable and keep it connected to it through this whole process. So just navigate to your minimal ADB and fast boot folder and uh, just double click on the maf32.exe file. And this will open a command prompt. So just type fast boot space devices and press enter you will see a serial number and there will be fast boot written alongside it so this serial number is nothing but your phone's serial number if you can't see this or you get the waiting for device error then that means you have to install the drivers again so okay after it is detected uh, just navigate in the folder and find flashable.xml file so these are basically the commands which you need to type on the command prompt to flash every partition or every file into your phone so that you can revert to stock again. So I will just set things up and then show you. Yeah, so as you can see, I have this file open and I have my command prompt here. So I am typing in flash partition space gpt.bin. Yeah, and uh, oh, I forgot you have to write fast boot in front of every command so that it is detected so write fast boot space flash space partition space gpt.bin and uh, all you have to do is to press enter yeah so as you can see it is written finished don't worry if it says failed or stuff because this is a partition file the system partition file so it may get mismatched sometimes so just uh, Go to the next command and type fast boot space flash space moto boot space moto boot dot img. The img, the bin, these are all the extensions. Press enter and wait for it to complete. You can see that it is completed now. So just go on typing with me if you don't understand the text. Now you will have to type in fast boot space flash space logo space logo dot bin and press enter. So basically you just have to keep going till you flash everything. The next thing we are going to flash will be the boot image. So fast boot space flash space boot space boot dot img press enter again and this will flash the boot partition into your phone yeah so we are done with the boot 
then again you will have to type fastboot space flash space recovery space recovery dot img and press enter again this will flash the stock recovery on your phone you will see that the recovery dot img is written into your recovery partition so now go for the next command so we will type fastboot space flash space system space system dot img underscore sparse chunk just keep on typing with me sparse chunk dot zero and press enter so after you press enter this will take some time because it is a system file so just wait for it there are seven to eight files like this so you will have to write the command for all those files so now press the up button while you are on the command prompt and you will navigate to the most recent command you typed yeah as you can see what i did was that i went to the most recent command and just replaced the zero with one then press enter and wait for it to complete after it is completed you will have to press the up button again and replace the one with two and press enter again you will have to keep doing this until you reach the yeah until you reach the ninth system image that is system dot img underscore sparse chunk dot nine yeah so now press the up button again and replace the two with three and so on press enter and wait for it to complete then we will flash the fourth file then the fifth sixth seventh eighth and finally the ninth file so basically what we are doing here is that we are writing the partitions the system partitions with the system dot img underscore sparse chunk files so we are reverting to stock so this means that you can't just flash a zip file that is the stock rom zip file uh, just directly like you flash a rom you will have to take some time to get it reverted to stock so you will have to use the command prompt but once you get a hang of it this is quite easy and this is a very good process to completely revert back to stock and uh, not having any leftovers also i would like to tell you that when you typed that command that is the fastboot flash space recovery space recovery dot img do note that we also wrote the recovery partition with the stock recovery so that means if you have installed twrp recovery on your phone then it is replaced with the stock recovery so you will have to flash the twrp image again the recovery image again or the cwm.img or the any recovery you will have to flash it again you will have to root your phone again because we are just getting reverted to the stock rom that is android 6.0 so yeah so this is the seventh file now just replace the last digit with the upcoming digits that is 789 and press enter after every command this can take some time and uh, motorola devices have this thing where you have to revert to stock and flash the factory image this is the factory image uh, where you have to flash the factory image through command prompt then we will flash the eighth file press enter wait for it until the system is written into the partition after this we will have to flash the final system image file yeah so rename it with 9 at the ending okay so we have flashed the system files now type in fast boot space flash space modem 
space non dash hlos dot bin in capitals not the extension just the file name press enter and wait for it this is writing the modem okay so we are completed with it now type in a different command which is fast boot space erase space modem st1 don't worry about it just type what i am typing press enter then erase modem st2 the same command yeah so after you have erased modem st2 just type fast boot space flash space fsg space fsg dot mbn press enter again this will flash the fsg okay so now type fast boot space erase space cache you can see the commands in the xml file also then type in fast boot space erase space user data so we are just formatting the phone here factory reset everything is installed and now we are just uh, erasing or factory resetting the device then fast boot space erase space customize press enter again and then the last command which is fast boot space erase space c logo and press enter okay so you are basically done with everything now the next command you have to type is that fast boot space reboot press enter and this will reboot your device so after your phone reboots you will see the stock moto boot animation just remove it uh, from the data cable from the PC from which you have connected it and set it up uh, it will feel like you just bought this device so I will just set the whole things up and then show you how to how it looks yeah so as you can see I have reverted back to stock Android 6.0 for confirmation I will go to settings about phone yeah you can see that I am on Android 6.0 marshmallow and everything is just as stock okay so that's it for this video guys hit the like button if you like this video share it with your friends and subscribe for more content like this we will further keep you updated on stuffs like this on our Facebook page okay so bye bye and thank you